Hello, welcome to another video of um, scaffold battling. We've seen scaffold a couple days ago. We've seen him quite a couple times on this channel, and this time he featured more battles against one of the best players in the world, um, Lurgan Rocket, who I think he's the best team builder in the world. You will find that he always has a, co a good combination of like bulk, sweepers, and typing. Um, the, the meta they're playing in is the Open Great League Factions, which you can see below here. Gold Crown are Pokemon you can pick only one of in your line of six, and Silver Crown are Pokemon you can pick two of in your line of six, and the other ones um, that's not on there can be can fill up the, the other three. Um, so these are the teams that we have, Scafo versus Lurgan Rocket. Um, Lurgan really wanted to take on Scafo in the Open Grey League, that's why I am not playing Open Grey League this week, because apparently they uh, they had a little bit of uh, shit talk in, in Bremen last year at the Regional, and Lurgan really wanted revenge. So Scafo was like, yeah, sure, I'll take him on, and these are the teams. And like I said, Lurgan really has an interesting uh, team building strategy, where, where he has bulk, he has power, and he has typing. He has a decent matchup. And one thing that we read right from the start is that Charizard with energy advantage is so good, right? Um, on Scaffold's side, the Pelipper looks very good. There's finally a Great League uh, meta where Lantern is not as prevalent. So Pelipper shines here. Um, if Scafo has a bit of a higher attack, Pelipper it even can beat Frostas in the two shoot straight weather ball. Um, let's take a look at these very good battles. Um, I got a check real quick where these battles start because this is a recording of about 30 minutes both players took a lot of time to think about their matchups here here we go we got jump love into meganium um so this is, was one of our ideas lurgan wants to safe swap the the charizard so we lead strong uh uh we we, we would expect him to lead strong against like a g fisk um or pelipper which Meganium does is, is exactly that kind of Pokemon. Now we do have the lead, but this Shadow Charizard still is so good against Pelipper. Um, I think Scaffo has a really good Pelipper, so he might win the two shields here still. And because of the wing attack, it's really difficult sometimes to uh, to to guess where that Charizard is at or where to know where its energy is at because it might just be at a Blast Burn while you might not even expect it. This Charizard only has one wing attack advantage. Um, and that is the Blast Burn. Not only is the Blast Burn, he also has a Dragon Claw. This Charizard is absolutely popping off. Uh, but the Dragon Claw barely does a KO this, this Pelipper. It's a very good IV Pelipper, so it barely uh, wins pretty well against that Charizard. But if he baited that, um, then the Charizard would have... Um, would have flip switch actually because blast burn does a little bit more than dragon claw but lurgan decides to catch on the meganium and and basically just sacrifice it um probably because he knows he loses switch anyway and the energy on meganium is absolutely useless on jump love everything this meganium throws is at least double resisted um a slight undercharge here from Scafo. It's barely enough to get another fair within. He will have to take another um, Frenzy Plant here, but it does nothing to the bulky jump of that double resists it. Now let's see what's in the back. It is the Galarian Stunfisk, and that's sort of a, an interesting line by Lurgan. Uh, not really great against a Pelipper lead, but... Um, Probably his strategy would be to keep shield advantage for that Charizard that could sweep anything on Scafo's side. And it's also not great against Machamp because Machamp can just tear through uh, through Meganium and anything. And and, um, and the G-Fisk, uh, which shields up. Now Scafo decides to throw his G-Fisk after um, taking that Rock Slide on Jump Love simply because he can survive an Earthquake barely here. And now all he has to do is not have Lurgan catch this move. He goes one over and Lurgan catches on the Shadow Charizard. Um... I guess maybe a Scafo through immediately, or if he waited a uh, half a second to see the Machos come through. Uh, Lurgan couldn't have done that, but this makes it very difficult now. This Rock Slide uh, might take this G Fisk into uh, Energy Ball range, which Scafo does have stored. But the problem is G Fisk wins CMP. Now, if he goes in Pelipper, Lurgan is a smart player and very sharp, so he might just farm Pelipper down, and he does farm it down. He didn't throw his move, and now this Energy Ball. Um, won't get fired because Jump Love, as a, such a bulky Pokemon, loses CMP to the Stunfisk, and this Rock Slide will take him out. Insane catch by Lurgan. Um, winning a game he should not have won. Um, 
But again, Lurgan is one of the best players in the world. He, he got top four in the World Championship last year. So this is no joke of an opponent. Um, well, he does like to joke with his opponents, but he also likes to clap them. Um, which just basically happened. He lost the lead of Meganium into Jumlov and still managed to win it. We see the same lead here. Um, Armbrin into Meganium. And at this point, we kind of might expect the same thing, the same strategy. The safe swap Charizard is just so good on Scaphos, uh, sorry, on Lurgan's side. Because with a with a with that wing attack advantage, and if you get a couple baits, you can beat anything on Scaphos line, which is really dangerous. So basically, um Scaphos is not expecting the the uh Lurgan to shield anything here. Basically, because Charizard can just sweep anything. Another foul play coming in. I believe Umbrian barely wins zero shields here like this. But it might also be very possible that um, Lurgan, the, the, the big strategy guy, just lets this go intentionally because he just wants the farm down and Charizard. <clears throat> Which would be a masterful play, to be honest. He does let it go. Let's see. In comes that wing attack. Charizard again that charges so fast. And he has three wing attacks already. Now, we do have Machamp this time. We are very afraid of that uh, Machamp. Uh, of, of this Charizard with Machamp. But we still have the Pelipper to protect it for a little bit. Um, Scafo makes a call here. Does not shoot this. Dragon Claw still does quite some damage. And But the energy advantage on this Charizard is just so deadly. Because the next one will KO. Charizard wins CMP against about anything it has a very high uh, attack the one thing it doesn't win uh doesn't win uh it doesn't win C uh, cmp against though is machamp machamp is like four attack higher so that would win cmp he does shoot the next dragon claw and is very confident he will get to another move here and looks like he is going to but lurgan makes another good catch on the stunt fist. it is basically the same team from game one but this allows um Scaffold to just shield once and counter this completely down. It barely gets to that earthquake. You shield this. Scaffold now has the rock slide stored for the for the Charizard, and that will take out an entire generation of Charizards. Lurgan, uh, I, I would be surprised if he can even use Charizard next game now. Well, he can obviously. That's that's not how it works, Pokemon Go. But that that does a lot of damage. Even a cross shop for. Ex just for measurement, a cross up does 40% on the Shadow Charizard from Shadow Machamp. And that's resistant. Um, let's see, this is where Lurgan took quite some time. Here we go. The third battle between Lurgan versus Scafo. It's 1 1. And it looks like um, Scafo leads into Shadow Charizard. He, Lurgan wins the lead and safe swaps into Pelipper. But what is what Charizard is for Lurgan, that is what Pelipper is for Scafo. Pelipper can beat about anything on Lurgan's side. He knows she'll stuff the Dragon Claw here. Um, reckons that if it's like a Galarian Stunfisk, that would do way more. Now goes for the Hurricane, no baiting, and simply because. Um, we expect Lurgan to keep the shoes for the Charizard, which does happen here. But now Charizard is still unstoppable because Charizard could like shoot and farm this down. And it looks like that is what Lurgan is going to do here. At least you have switch advantage now. But if it's like a Tapu Fini in the back from Lurgan or a Frostless, um, that switch advantage is not really useful. Now Scafo does have the Umbrian in the back, so uh, this could still be okay-ish. And the reason why is because Armbrian can take these moves quite comfortably. Lurgan even baits there. And Scafo doesn't take the bait. Even a Shadow Blast Burn wouldn't take out this Armbrian at this point. It survives quite easily. And Scafo throws immediately. Something Lurgan may have not expected here. He lets his Charizard go. And in the back is the Tapu Fini. So I guess that's why Lurgan also lets the uh, Meganium go. Because he already was so strong against that uh, the Machamp. But Machamp with a shoot up does beat Tapu Fini straight rock side. And Lurgan knows that. Calls the first move knowing he would lose. if He would only win if Scafo goes straight cross up here. But he didn't end that. Makes the score 2-1 for Scafo. Insane battles. Two of the best of Euro. Maybe the best in the world. Hopefully hopefully we'll see them in Worlds in Yokohama as well. Um, thank you Scafo for featuring these battles. Thank you Lurgan for, for asking to take on Scafo. So we got these battles. Um, and I hope you like the video. See you in the next one. Bye.